The Remarkable Paper Pro has many great features, but one of my disappointments with the True Color Ink tablet was definitely the dim front light. With only roughly 4 nits maximum brightness, it doesn't really help in improving readability during the day. To put it into perspective, the Kindle Scribe's maximum brightness is 128 nits. I'm not saying that Remarkable should have implemented a front light as bright as this, but a little brighter would have been nice. As it turns out, the hardware on the Remarkable Paper Pro can actually do a bit more than these four nits. With a relatively simple tweak via SSH, you can change the scaling and the maximum brightness of the tablet, which I'll show you how to do in a second. It's a quick hack that makes a big difference. With this adjustment, the brightness increases to around 8 nits, which translates to roughly 2.5 times the perceived brightness according to Stevens' power law for reflective surfaces. So in other words, it appears even brighter than what that increase would suggest. And while it's still not as bright as other devices, it's definitely better than before and much more usable during the day. Before we dive into the next steps, please note that the following hack is done at your own risk. It might cause issues immediately or down the line and even void your warranty. Also, I'm not the one who discovered this hack. Credit goes to the Reddit users who found and shared the steps in the Remarkable Tablet subreddit, which I've linked in the description below. To implement this tweak, there are three steps necessary. First, enabling the developer mode on the tablet. Second, connecting via SSH. And third, implementing the necessary changes via SSH to enable the brighter front light. The whole process shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. In case you're wondering, SSH is a way to securely connect to a device over a network. Let's start by enabling the developer mode on the Remarkable Paper Pro. If you're not sure what the implications for that are, check out the article on the Remarkable website linked in the description below. Switching to the developer mode is necessary to get SSH access to change some of the settings. Just a heads up, switching will reset the device, meaning everything on it will be deleted. So if you haven't done so already, make sure to sync everything with your Remarkable account that you want to keep. Once the device reboots with the developer mode enabled, connect it to your PC via USB-C. If you're using the latest version of Windows 10 or 11, there's a built-in SSH client, so you won't need any special software for the next steps. Linux and macOS users are good to go as well, of course. I'll be showing how to proceed on Windows 11. Open the command prompt by pressing Windows and R and type CMD. Now connect to the Paper Pro with the following command. By the way, all of the commands needed for this hack are in the description below, so you can just copy and paste them. To connect, you will need to accept the device's fingerprint and then enter the root password, which can be found in the settings about section of the Remarkable. Tap on copyright and licenses and in the GPL compliance section, you'll find the root password for your device. All right, now that we are connected via SSH, let's first enable the brighter front LED so you can see the difference and decide if you want to keep it. Turn up the front LED on your Remarkable Paper Pro and then enter the following command. Keep an eye on the device before hitting enter so you can immediately see how the brightness changes. If you don't want to keep that change, you can simply reboot the Paper Pro and everything reverts back to normal except the developer mode, of course. However, if you're happy with the brighter front light and want to keep using it, you will need to make these changes persist. To do this, we'll create a systemd service, which ensures that the commands are automatically applied every time the tablet starts up. Use the following commands to set this up. What this does is it creates a file with the commands and adds it to the Linux service manager to be applied on reboot. That's it. Once you're done, reboot your Remarkable Paper Pro to test whether the hack worked. Don't worry, it takes a few moments for the brighter front light to be applied after booting up. It will start with the original brightness and then switch to the new brighter setting. Personally, I'll keep using the Paper Pro with this hack. Because even though the front light is still pretty dim compared to other devices, it's definitely more useful during the day now. And the brightness scaling also works better. The first two levels are no longer super dim and colors look also more vibrant when the front light is turned up all the way. All in all, I think it's a pretty useful hack. I am honestly surprised that Remarkable chose to limit the front light brightness through software like this. From my experience, the increased brightness doesn't seem to drain battery much faster, and I doubt the heat emissions from the LEDs are a concern since the tablet can be used outdoors in direct sunlight as well. But that's just my opinion, so take that with a grain of salt. Remember, any hack like this can have an impact on the device's longevity, 
and might void your warranty. That said, in terms of practicality, the brighter front LED is simply better for everyday use in my opinion. Hopefully Remarkable will address this officially in the future and keep this custom option by SSH available as long as it doesn't harm the tablet. If this had worked for you or you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more tips and tricks in the future. Thanks for your time watching and see you in the next one.